Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers. This one is aimed at Unreal Engine developers, but as we will see from it in just a moment, it's actually usable uh, from pretty much any game engine you wish, at least a lot of the assets. I'll show you how that process works. Uh, this here, hands-on with one of the assets, this is the uh, Emerald... Northern Isles, I believe it is, pack. We're going to take a look hands-on with a couple of the different assets in this bundle uh, before we jump in and look at the details of the bundle itself. So this one is uh, four different providers all put together by Yarwa. And here you can see the overview map of everything we just saw there. So if you need to make this kind of a, a modular cliff side uh, seascape, whatever, that is what this asset pack is all about. This is an asset from Fleshcand. We'll actually see another one of theirs in just a moment. Here you can see the hospital pack from Dekogong. Uh, this one is pretty straightforward. There's two parts to this one. It's the kind of stuff that you would find in a hospital. These kind of packs are always useful because uh, they're, you know, lifelike. And as you can see, look pretty solid. And as you can see, if we switch this guy onto on my main screen like so, this is it running inside of Blender. So there are a number of different ways you can actually export out assets from the Unreal Engine to work in other environments. So again, Unreal. Blender. The only difference here is the level of ambient lighting. Otherwise, it comes across just about perfectly. Now, obviously, you're not going to get blueprints and stuff like that, but you can definitely get the models out and use them in Unity, Unreal, Godot, whatever. Well, Unreal, obviously. So uh, that is another one of the assets. This is the other asset from Fleshcan I'm going to demonstrate. It's uh, the uh, Village Houses, I believe. Uh, they have interiors and exteriors. I don't know if these ones actually modeled the interior. Yeah, they are. The interiors are modeled, but uh, they're doing that Unreal Engine 5.2 lighting thing. You have to turn the lighting up, uh, but you're getting full inside of these things. Uh, you're getting, you know, furnishings and such to work with, but you got fences, a number of different houses to work from. Uh, so, yeah, definitely useful for uh, this kind of environment. I think this pack looks quite pretty. Uh, again, you got to turn up the, uh, the ambient environment if you want to see inside of the houses, but they can be furnished. To, so there is a lot to this particular pack. Including, as you can see, a number of different house styles. And let's go check out the other house styles. And then there's the interior props of everything you're working with. Again, everything here is, uh, of course, if you're working in Unreal Engine, uh, everything is blueprinted. So the houses are blueprinted, easily created, instantiated, dropped into your scene like so. The next guy we've got here is the Drugar Knight. I, I do actually think that this guy may have been in a previous Humble Bundle. Now, the majority of these are uh, new. Uh, they did an Apocalypse Bundle a while back, uh, and some stuff showed up from there. So, for example, there's going to be an ambulance we saw. Uh, that is a duplicate. And I think this guy may have been in a previous bundle, but it's still pretty cool, and it shows you to the degree that these things go. Because this one is uh, more than just a model. There's actually a variety of different uniforms you can work with here. So there's ways to um, change out the outfit and how the outfit work, but look at his uh, brow. So you've got fine-tuned control over brow position, cheek position, a variety of blend shapes for controlling exactly how things work. Uh, and then, of course, we can turn gore on because, of course, you want gore. Um, so these things are all quite configurable. A uh, number of different uh, blend settings that you can work with here, again, on this particular face. So you can get a, a, you know, it's not just one model. It's kind of a template for creating an entire genre of models. And another one here is this uh, vehicle or the sedan pack. Same kind of concept. So you're seeing here uh, pretty much the same blueprinted car. Uh, but you've got a variety of different options that are available for it. Now, the most impressive thing with this, and also for the um, the ambulance, it's the same company that put it together. Look at this. There's actually a full-blown uh, driving controller with it. So this is kind of neat. So, oh, it's in the other demo. You can actually have it hit, and it'll show you where a bullet would be blocked by the car and not make it through. So you've got controls for that. We've also got controls for entering a vehicle and driving around. Although I did find that the, uh, the physics wonked out. Yeah, so I got some pretty seriously wonky physics at times. But you've got a full driving controller that goes with the cars themselves. So you've got these dynamic cars. You've got physics controller for the cars. You've even got like bullet detection, hit detection on the cars. Pretty cool stuff. And then we've got a variety of mocap packs like this one right here. You'll see... Uh so a number of different animations, frameworks, obviously reusable animations are always pretty useful. This is like a basic pack. So it's the normal walking around, running, strafing kind of animations you can see. Again, there's about a half a dozen of these animations in this bundle overall. So let's jump into the bundle details. 
This is the Unreal Essentials software bundle. You can see it consists of 35 items in total. The price is pretty cheap. So that's $33 Canadian. That's $25 USD. You're getting 35 items here. Now, the way this works basically is you get two redemption keys. You get, well, you get one redemption key for two different stores. One is for uh, the Yarwa store. The other one is for the MoCap store. Uh, I'll show you that process in just a sec. But basically, you just go to checkout. You put those codes in and it goes to becoming free. Although there's also a redemption thing that you can use to get it so that you get your assets on the Epic Marketplace as well. It's just going to take a little bit more time. So what you're seeing here, uh, you've got three different tiers. Uh, you buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all of the stuff above it. You're actually getting quite a bit of stuff here for a $1 tier. I'm going to treat it all together though. The median price tier almost never makes sense on Humble, although right now it does. We'll see where that ends up. And then the full fat tier, that's how I'm going to look at it. You get there. You decide with Humble how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. All right, so let's do a quick rundown of the assets in this pack. So we've got Fresh Cane. Those are almost all just environment type settings. Uh, we've got the Northern Island... Uh, uh, Northern Island Pack and the Village House Environments. I showed you those two in action. There's also Medieval Camping. Uh, then we get into Decagon. Uh, this one may be a repeat. It's uh, Camping and Outdoor Adventures. Uh, then we got another one from Hyper. Now, one thing you got to be aware of with Hyper, some of these are going to be for Unreal Engine 4 only because they're pure blueprint things. So if you're working with Unreal 5 Plus, those ones may not be ideal for you. But even then, the pack is just a bundle. It's a, it's a huge value anyways. Uh, then we got the Infinite Variations uh, Ambulance. I actually showed this in a video in the past. So this one is definitely a repeat, but it does look like it has been an update. And it's highly configurable. It's pretty impressive what this one can do. Uh, we saw this one. This is the Draugar. Uh, this is the Corpse Bandit. There's also one for the Knight, which is what we actually saw. And uh, then from Decagon, we've got the Suburban Houses, Volume 1. And then we got our first mo-capped animation pack here, the basic animations. I think that's the one I showcased to you. Uh, you got the Horror in Decay, Volume 2, Urban Debris. The Sedan, that was, again, one I demonstrated earlier on. Hospital Props, Volume 1. I think I showcased that one. There's also a Volume 2, by the way. Uh, then we get some more organics for a horror and setting. Quarantine Hospital, um, kind of environmental props. Those are both Decagon. Uh, then we've got the Luggage and Bags Volume 1 and Volume 2, Dry Animal Bones, uh, Construction Props Volume 2, The Night. We showed that guy in action. A couple more mocap animation packs. This one is Punching Park Life and then um, Character Conversations. Then we get into it. This is a really cool one. It's actually a blueprint for controlling chopping down of trees. Uh, sadly, you're going to notice and they're all marked. Unreal Engine 4 only. So one of those things to be aware of. Maybe it will be updated in the future, but there's no promises. So if you are not using UE4, those ones probably just be aware of that. Uh, Flipbook Animated Blood Decals, uh, two sets of that. Crowd Stadium mocap. Uh, Mineable Rocks Blueprints, again UE4. Uh, fully Customizable Advanced Automatic Landscape Material. This one isn't marked as UE4 only, so I'm not sure how that one would work. Uh, urban Background Villages, uh, sorry, Buildings. Uh, the Pedestrian Walks mocap. Fences and Gates, Hospital Props, Volume 2, Horror and Decay, Urban Surfaces, uh, the Buy Utility Plus Material Instance Option, and then finally Construction Props, Volume 1. Any of these you want to drill down get more information on, you can click them and we'll bring you over to uh, the actual um, Unreal Engine store site. Uh, so in terms of redeeming these things, you do get a code. They send them on over to the checkout page for the app. So majority of these will be up on Yarawa. Uh, you can download them from there. Uh, so basically it's broken down. All the Decagon stuff is in this tier. All the uh, fresh cane stuff is available here. The hyper stuff is here and so on. So for example, if I want to do these guys stuff, I click here, access now, and you got a variety of different versions. Some of them are 4.x versions and then 5.x versions available uh, of assets there. So they're all available on here. It's a simple redemption key. You'll notice at the top here, there's also this epic access. And really all you do is you come in here, um, give it the details and then hook it up to your marketplace account. It does, it's a manual process, so it does take a little bit of time, but you can get all of these assets that we saw right here hooked up on your store, which is pretty cool. And then uh, the other place you return, you configure is for the motion patcher packs, uh, mocap online. It's the exact same key, the same process, just at checkout, you put it in. Uh, then you'll notice it's here, the Humble Bundle Essentials mocap, come in here to download them. Now, one thing I don't like, and this is the same thing that we ran into before with them. So this is one of the ones I demoed right here. You're gonna notice I only have two downloads remaining. So you're gonna wanna, but you can save these over to a Dropbox account. So if you have Dropbox hooked up, otherwise you're going to have to look at storing them yourself or download them a maximum of three times. So uh, that is the other set here. Uh, if you're interested, I do do a guide on actually exporting it from Unreal Engine so that you can use it in other environments like we saw earlier on in this video. Uh, you can get things Blender, 
like so, versus Unreal Engine. And this was just using the built-in export. You can actually just come in here and go export all and then pick the file format you want. And this one is GLB, and this is how good it came out. Uh, there's other ways to do it. There's a plugin for Unity Game Engine. I did a specific video on that as well. So if you want to learn a little bit more about how to actually get things out of Unreal Engine and use them in another um, engine or whatever, you can do so here. In terms of legally, yes, you can do that unless the store explicitly forbids it. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the bundle. It is the Unreal Essentials number one software bundle. Uh, so it's from a variety of different creators. Uh, we got, again, Fresh Can. Uh, we got uh, Hyper. We got Decogong. And we've got the mocap stuff here, as well as some Yarwa stuff as well. Uh, and a lot of these are really in-depth with blueprint controllers that do all kinds of things, infinite variations, etc. So you're not getting one ambulance, you're getting, you know, dozens and or, you know, millions of ambulances potentially. Same with what we saw with the sedan earlier on. Uh, really cool pack. Um, I'm impressed with the quality of what I've seen so far. And it's nice and nice to see these uh, packs showing up on Humble for, uh, you know, Unreal and Unity and so on. Uh, very cool. Let me know what you think of this pack. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.